Podcast. Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host, Shane. Development on this Galaxy Nexus a Verizon version phone has really taken off. Oh my gosh, there's so many ROMs out there, it's hard for me to keep up with them. We've already got uh, plenty of ROMs that are based on the upcoming release of Ice Cream Sandwich, the 4.0.3. There's a few that are out there, but today I'm going to highlight the very first custom ROM for the Galaxy Nexus CDMA version. is Android Revolution HD. This is a stock modified ROM. In fact, we'll go ahead and jump into it now. And as you can tell, it looks exactly like stock ice cream sandwich. So there's really nothing, as far as the look and feel of it, there's really nothing new or unique or different here. The only thing that uh, came extra with this was this Marathon Mobile and the ES File Explorer, which are free on the market anyways. Uh, so really nothing new or spectacular here as far as the look and feel. Uh, what you're going to notice on this release is... Incredible battery life. So on the st uh, regular stock battery, uh, whereas the last couple of days I've been getting about seven and a half hours on uh, heavy use with 4G turned on, I got you know a little over nine hours before I had to plug in my phone. Uh, so that in in and of itself is actually a pretty good improvement. They've done lots of mods and tweaks uh, to the system which has really helped out with the speed and performance uh, of the standard version of Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, but the main thing I want to show you guys is how to install it. So for a lot of you guys that have never had a Galaxy, uh, or I'm sorry, a Nexus type phone, uh, you may have not ever had to install a ROM like this. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description. Uh, you're going to want to first install Clockwork Mod Recovery after you've unlocked the bootloader and rooted the phone. I have a video guide on how to do that, and I also have a video guide on how to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once those are installed, you'll head to the link in the description, download the Super Wipe script, and the Android Revolution 2.1.1. Like I said, that's based on 4.0.2, which is the current version of Ice Cream Sandwich, and it's just modified stock, so you're going to see extra performance and an extended battery uh, with, that, with this ROM. And like I said... Functionality, it seems to be a whole lot quicker. Uh, my fingers are a little wet here, but anyhow, overall this looks good. So what you want to do here is power down your device and boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you follow my guide, it'll be permanently on there in the bootloader. If not, you'll have to go to Data, Media, and delete uh, the automatic recovery file. You'll see it in there. And that's also in the tutorial. Okay, so we want to uh, boot into bootloader mode. Just hold both volume buttons and the power button. Until that menu comes up, you're going to scroll over to recovery mode and select the power button. That's going to bring up Clockwork Mod Recovery. So some of you guys are used to having to wipe data cache, Dalvik cache. Uh, with this, it comes with a super wipe script. Uh, if you're not on any previous version of Android Revolution HD, you'll have to run that first. It's real simple. So all you have to do here is go to install zip from SD card. Select that. Then you'll go to choose zip from SD card. Select that. Try to get it a little closer so you guys can see better. Then head to your download folder. If you downloaded it directly to the phone, that's where it'll be. And you want to choose the super white light nexus.zip first. Then you'll go down to Yes Install. That'll run its course. It'll take about a minute. When that's finished, you'll go uh, back and choose it from SD card again and navigate to the download folder once more. Select that. And then go to Android Revolution HD Galaxy Nexus LTU 2.1.1.zip. Select that. And go to Yes Install. Very sensitive. Yes Install. Uh, once that's ran its course, it'll take about, uh, for me, three or four minutes. You'll go all the way back and reboot the phone. He also has several mods, like uh, there's a percentage battery mod, a notification pull-down mod. All that's at the link in the description. You would go ahead and install that as well uh, in this session if you wanted those mods. There's also like a mod to remove the... Uh, Galaxy, the Samsung boot animation there, and just go with the stock I ICS boot animation. 
then you'll reboot the phone, and it's as simple as that, guys. Now you're running your first ever custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone. Guys, check out DroidModRX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Galaxy Nexus phone and other Android devices. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModRX with an E9 of 3. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys.